Hey guys, what's up? Steve here. Beautiful day. Today we went from minus 30 last week and minus 20 to this. It's like plus 5 with some nice sun. Beautiful. So anyways, I'm starting to uh, soften up one of the moose hides. So this is the smaller hide. And it seems like it's thinner and it's easier to soften up. Because after that... Uh, that brain mixture which was in the last video um, actually this one I did two applications of the brain mixture and uh, it was already kind of soft and uh, so what I did yesterday is I did the first smoking so I'll show you guys the clip of the first smoking alright it's the first smoking I got the punk spruce with some coals got my uh, hides hanging over it's a little bit windy but uh, you can see how the smoke is kind of going in and it's rolling around in there so that's good so it's just a light smoke for the first smoke so this is good and there's no heat at all coming out and if there's any any flames that I see what I do is I just throw a little bit of snow in there and uh, that's good. <coughs> so that was the first smoking. So it's right after the, the the brain tan solution. Right after you do the first smoking. And then now what I did is I put this in some downy water. So I put two buckets of water. I put um, a little bit of downy soap and a little bit of dish soap. This is uh, Robert Bedeen's uh, recipe and what I'm doing today is pretty much what I learned from Robert Bedeen's video, um, moose height tanning, it's called uh, the cardboardy stage that he calls it. So I'm just softening the hide, gonna be uh, working it, but uh, yeah, like awesome, like the other hide in the back I'll show you guys here. You can see this one, this one still has the brain mixture on it and uh, it's thicker so it did not soften up that much but it is softer than before so so I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep working this one for now and uh, the other one, I might do a second application of that mixture on it, just so it can soak in a little bit deeper. And uh, later on, we'll soak it in the, in the downy water as well and uh, work it. So anyways, that was just a quick update on uh, the moose hides. I gotta do this, if you, if you guys go and watch Robert Bedeen's video, this the softening process I got to do the cycle he does it three or four times so we'll see how many times I have to do it but uh, it's supposed to get cold again so I don't know if I'll be like finishing up right away but anyways we'll we'll do what we can this is the the softening tool it's basically just a round saw blade that's been cut and I did little dents in it and I added a handle and again this is Robert Bedeen's um, tool that he uses so I made mine off of his video so you gotta give credit where credit is due Robert Dean's video explains the cycle so he works it he works it like this for a full hour three times a day and uh, lets it soak in the solution 
So for two days it soaks. And then in between, he does some ringing and drying it. And then once it's dried, it starts over and the cycle begins with the smoking. So uh, I don't know if I'll follow the exact cycles and stuff. I don't have a ringing pole and a ringing set up yet. But uh, yeah, I'll kind of improvise and do a little bit of the cycles every now and then and hopefully it softens it up. All right, so we've been working it with that softener tool. Now we're gonna put it back in the solution and we'll let it sit. Maybe if I got time this evening, I'll uh, rub it again with the tool. If not, I guess no big deal. But again, one cup of downy. And I put a couple squirts of this type of soap. I think sunlight soap is what Robert uses. And then I put two buckets of water. Robert uses, I believe, three buckets of water, one and a half of downy some squirts of uh, sunlight dish soap but uh, yeah I love Robert Bedin's videos he's probably the one who helped me the most so hopefully I succeed in tanning these hides with the help of videos and books and other folks so anyways thanks guys we'll uh, update you again and uh, stay safe cheers